DNC still going on. All right, so we, we've been watching a lot of a lot of DNC um, the past two days. Um, so y'all saw the new to me relic Trinity engine, another engine um, donated by a subscriber. So if you watched earlier on in the video, we tore it apart, got it cleaned up, back together. Um, and all that good stuff but just kind of wanted to close out the video um, saying uh, if y'all haven't been watching the DNC check it out it's a lot of good race coverage a lot of good race coverage Dakota Finn on fire Adam Drake on fire we also in the live feed night before last night we got to talk with Chris Nelson for a few minutes Chris Nelson from TNR Fuels. Another thing I wanted to wanted to touch on. <clears throat> I hate to uh, really even bring this up, but I just thought it was kind of hilarious. You know, when we, we in the past we've talked about you know social media etiquette and all that stuff. Um, just kind of wanted to say you, you you really gotta you really gotta be careful what you do. Um, when you come into, let's say, like the live chat at DNC, we had a uh, an idiot, and we all know who he is. Um, I even hate to say his name, but old Muffler mani Maniac, he made a complete ass of himself i mean a complete ass of himself. I, I, I'll be honest, th this was one of the biggest times that I've ever seen muggy or muffler maniac make a complete ass of himself on social media he got his ass roasted not only by me other people in the chat but scotty the announcer even made a comment about how dumb muffler maniac was um i'm just gonna say if you're gonna try to come in uh professional platform like live rc and talk racing at least have a little clue about racing um, sad to say old Muffler got in here trying to say last night's uh, qualifying that Mayfield killed Dakota Fend and this, this, and that. When in fact, that last race, Dakota Fend already TQ'd. He was just running that race as basically practice. He already secured his spot. So, you know, b before you come into a racing platform and, and try to act like you even remotely know about racing... Make sure you have your facts straight before you make an ass of yourself like Muffler Maniac did in front of hundreds and hundreds of people today. Um, it was actually quite hilarious. <laughs> Scotty the announcer had even said the, said the same thing. At least have a little bit of a clue before you start, you know, spitting out stuff that's completely false and untrue. And we all know that Muffler is well known for putting out videos of untrue facts like always. Um, on top of that, you know, you, you don't gotta be so starved for attention in a social media platform by begging the announcers to come up and get some booth time by offering to buy pizza and snacks and all that. I mean, dude, really? You had the whole room laughing at you. I mean, obviously you did not read a lot of the comments of what people were, were saying, um, <laughs> And that was, and that wasn't even that. That was just the beginning of it. And then you get in a racing platform and you start talking about bashing stuff and and bashing on pro racers. I mean, talk about being rude. I mean, you just disrespected Scotty. Um, you disrespected everyone at DNC by doing that. Um, you know. It's but there's a guy with some amazing skills for sure. Crazy, crazy. Um Somebody says hey, we're talking about Taylor Peterson. Oh yeah. Taylor was a, Taylor was a cool cat for sure. Still see him every once in a while. Like I said, he lives up in Dallas, so when we come and race up in Dallas, he'll come hang out with us. Well, next time you see him Sorry guys, I'll have to go back and uh and listen to that. We're talking about Taylor Peterson. Used to be a um, anyways, 
But yeah, don't don't come don't come into a uh, a public race platform and make an ass of yourself. And this goes for anybody. Um, we're we're just specifically touching on old muffler maniac since he's like one of the biggest posers on YouTube. He has no real followers, and he just everything he says and everything he does is just to gain attention. He proved that today in the DNC live chat where the whole chat room. Um, you, you know, you know, you're an idiot when the whole chat room jumps on you. The whole chat room jumps on you. Not only that, the announcer, the announcer calls out your name and basically tells you to um, get a clue. Hopefully, you learned something from that because your ass got roasted and you were made a complete fool of. Um, and that was that was actually pretty hilarious, pretty damn hilarious. Um, <laughs> It, it actually was really, really hilarious, but just, uh, I just wanted to throw this in at the end of the video, you know, I've been doing a lot of, uh, interviews with reputable people in the industry and all that stuff, and, uh, you know, it's, it's one thing, you gotta give people proper respect where respect is due. I get it, everybody has a difference of opinion, whether you're a racer or you're a basher or what have you. But I mean, obviously, if you're a basher, then you don't come inside a DNC live chat and start spouting off basher this, basher that is better than racing and yada, 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 like like this fool did. Um, that's basically uh, disrespect to the announcers, to the racers at DNC when your ass is sitting on the sideline. Well, in fact, when this is going on, you're not even there on the sidelines watching. You're bumping your gums behind a computer screen is all Muffler Maniac was doing. And his ass got called out in front of thousands of people. Um, now, actually, it's 801 people. Um, that still uh, would be pretty embarrassing. 801 people watching um, you make a complete fool of yourself. But it is what it is. But don't do that, people. Don't be that guy that does that. All right? Don't be that guy that does that for sure. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to do a little editing on this video. And hopefully we get it posted soon. So, uh, as always, until next time. I'm out of here. Again, like I said, guys, you know, you, you just you just got to watch out for for people like that. Don't be that person, you know. Old, old old muggy maniac. He's the one that's you know been known in YouTube for for a long time to just be a huge poser in in in, in everything he talks about. I mean, he just he lies about everything. Um, you know, he claims to be basher this basher that when all he does is run his platforms back and forth between uh, uh a baseball field you know he, he <laughs> that's not bashing um he, he wouldn't know the first thing about running eighth scale nitro um you know we we've all seen it you know he just he like he likes to he likes to bump them gums i mean this is also a guy that all he does is if you watch his videos all he does is is record Stuff from Bodigel and, and other people out there. I mean, he can't even come up with his own videos. He just has to record stuff that everyone else has already done. He, he copies everybody's footage, just spouts tons of lies and stuff. I mean, you know, again, and he gets roasted in front of the world on a DNC live feed. I mean, it was it was just hilarious how he sat there talking Mayfield this, Mayfield that. Um, and, and again, that, that's what the whole point of, of all this was, is he likes to act like he knows everybody in there. Uh, Keenan, a.k.a. Lefty. Um, you know, he likes to name drop. Oh, yeah, Chris Nelson invited me over to the TNR tent to kick it with him and this, this, and that. Dude, he's done that with everybody. You ain't nobody special, all right? You, you. <laughs> that's that's what was like really, really funny. Um, I had a conversation with with uh, somebody 
um, about that that same situation. And like I was told, hey, we invite everybody over to the tent. Um, so yeah, he wasn't sing- singled out like like uh, Chris Nelson knows him personally because Chris Nelson doesn't know. All right, Kurt Hernandez. Uh, Muggy, uh, that's Muggy's real name. Chris Hernandez doesn't know Kurt Hernandez or Muggy on a personal level. He knows him because he's just another guy who's trying to promote his fuel, okay? That's all it is. He, he don't know Chris Nelson personally. Well, I, we've already had that conversation. Um, you know, same thing with, with, with the Drakes that he liked to always go and uh, act like he knew them personally when, um, you know, I had one of them personally um, in my live feed say, no, we don't know him like that. But yeah, but he likes to lie. um, And I have plenty of proof out there. (laughs) Everybody has seen it. Um, So, you know, you just, you, you gotta watch watching this clown's videos. Um, you know, he, he likes to make videos claiming this, claiming that when, oh, oh, muggy boy, I tell you, he is, he is the biggest poser out there, but I tell you what, he will do anything he can for attention to get people to watch his stuff and this, this and that and name drop. Yeah, I know so-and-so and I've been with so-and-so and this, this and that when in fact he hasn't because um, a lot of us have asked these people um, and they've told us straight up. No, we, we don't know. We don't know Muffler personally or Kurt Hernandez. We don't know that name or that guy personally. Um, and some of these people actually think that he is bipolar. Um, and we think he might be, um, <laughs> but yeah, just don't, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Like the way, like what he did on live RC. Um, he, he comes into the chat room talking about, uh, yep. Mayfield just, just wax these guys all over the field. And it's like, dude, he came in third. Okay. Dakota fan already TQ'd the race before. It's like, if you're going to try to talk racing, have a clue what went on before you come in a race later and make an ass of yourself. Um, always talking on oh, Dakota Fenn is, will never match up to Mayfield and this, this and that. That's why Dakota Fenn has been waxing Mayfield's ass for the last three races. And, and D- Dakota Fenn has broke the track record. TQ'd all three rounds, um, and, and where has everybody else been? No disrespect on my end to the other racers because they've all been doing a great job. But just don't be that guy like Muffler and, and get on a social media site and start talking trash. And not only are you disrespecting DNC, you're disrespecting all the racers out there. Um, they all deserve the equal amount of credit, but, you know, my God, don't make yourself look like a complete ass clown like Kurt Hernandez, or Muffler Maniac did in Live RC, um, by being completely false with the alleg- allegations that he made. The whole room obviously busted you out, and Scotty the announcer did. That's what the most hilarious part was. But, hey, you know, it happens. It happens. Um... This is your, your 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 village idiot right here. Uh, I'm Maggie. You watch the pay. Ah <laughs> uh, man, again, again. Muffler, stop it! Stop it! Stop being a poser, dude. Stop being a poser. You are truly the turd in the punch bowl, as the Nitro Freak tells it. Um, so yeah, just move along, buddy. Um, move along. Maybe one day when you get on the racetrack, like some of us actually turn some laps, um, and actually learn a little bit about a scale nitro. And when you learn how to tune, then, then maybe, you know, when you learn how to put to properly build a, a platform, properly tune an engine, properly do anything in the a scale world, um, other than shucking out money to buy modded motors. I mean, that, that's that's all. That, that's the only good thing you can do is shuck out money to buy modded motors because you can't do anything else. We, we, you, we've seen that. You've already proved that. But, hey, you know, you're truly all the turd in the punch bowl. Biggest poser out there. So stop bumping your gums behind your computer on Live RC and in your videos and um, move along. Move along. All right, guys. So that's all I got. Uh, I'm not going to get any more into this. I just thought I'd share that little that little tidbit. Um, I just thought it was kind of hilarious. 
um, you know, old, old muffler talking on live RC like he's somebody and, uh, you know, he's out there watching from the sidelines. And at this point in time, he ain't even out there watching. He's at home behind his computer copying videos um, of DNC and, and John Bodigel and, and trying to put together videos and all that stuff and just uh, um, doing the poser things that he does. But, hey, hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. As always, stay tuned. Big stuff coming. Um, I'm glad everybody is enjoying the channel. Big shout out to all of you guys that have been making the donations lately. I appreciate the donations. You guys are helping the channel grow. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. As always, until next time, I'm out of here.